This is going to give us a good idea of what it's like coming out of Epcot Forever into the International Gateway and the crowd level that we might see on the Disney Skyliner because we're going to ride the Disney Skyliner again. back over to Hollywood Studios. Again. And again. And again and again and again. As many times as we can. And again. Because it's so beautiful lit up. Now that's a lot. Look at how pretty that is. So there's the line, but it is going to be a constantly moving line, so I bet we'll be in this line for maybe 10 minutes. All right, we're still moving through the Skyliner line. We've been in line for, what, about three or four minutes now? I'll go with four. Yeah, we started on that side, and now we're moving over to this side, and it's slowly going to, well, not slowly, it's moving really quickly, actually. We're just going to make our way up this ramp and so we can uh, board onto the Skyliner. So like I said, it's probably going to be about maybe 10 minutes or so we'll be in this line. It's a great way to get back to Hollywood Studios. All right, more crowds coming out of Epcot Forever. We're just making our way to the Disney Skyliner Arch. We're going to make our way up the ramp. We've been uh, just about 10 minutes now, so we're at about 10 minutes. And once we get up the ramp, uh, maybe about 15 minutes, 15 to 17 minutes in this line, which again is really not bad at all, especially right after the brand new fireworks show. That is a lot of people moving through this line right now. All right, we're gonna head to the Caribbean beach and then on to Hollywood Studios. And you can see the rest of the line queue down there. A lot of space for people to line up. We're almost there. We're just gonna go around the back here and then we'll go right into the loading area. We're right around 13 or 14 minutes now. It's like they'll split us up into a couple different queues here. But we're almost on board, and this line just constantly moves. So right before you get on, they separate you into two separate lines. So the line to my right and then the line that we're in. And then they'll determine which, uh, which cabin we'll get in, which gondola once we get up here. Cast members hard at work tonight. about 17 minutes or so 17 minutes in the line so that was not bad at all and we're off it's ratatouille at night actually it looks cooler at night than it does during the day 
will be flying past Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Disney's Boardwalk Village. This charming lakeside resort offers magical lounges, enchanting restaurants, and live entertainment on the boardwalk every evening. Pretty views of Spaceship Earth from up here. Looks beautiful at night. A little bit of the Riviera Resort. Say bon voyage to the Mediterranean. We are about to go island hopping at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. <gasps> I'm Carol. <laughs> We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, where every day feels like a junk -a new celebration. In just a few moments, we will be landing at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Welcome to the islands of Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. All passengers must disembark or transfer at this station. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed the most magical flight on Earth. Please remain seated until the doors automatically open. When exiting the cabin, please supervise children, collect your belongings, and watch your step. Thank you for flying with us. So now that we're over at the Caribbean Beach, the crowd has really dispersed and there's hardly anybody here. So by the time you make your way over here, most of the other crowd has already gotten on other gondolas and heading to their destination. So we're gonna jump on the Hollywood Studios line and head back to the parking lot over there. See how well the gondolas are lit up on the inside. There we go, Stitch. Get Scrooge. That's one of my favorite ones. Hey, we got our own gondola. Sweet. And it's Doctor Woo. 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 We can't swim in the wearing. Woo. Ducktails. Woo. Our own gondola, and it's all lit up nicely. The Hollywood Studios. Uh, it's about 9 30. Look at that. Oh, I can see the blurry version down here. Too bad we don't got a clear 
gondola tonight, but there you go. There's fireworks from the gondolas. That is really cool. Fireworks. What's up? That is awesome. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what am I missing? So you can see a little bit of our reflection in the glass here, but you can still see the fireworks. <laughs> sheaves it rattles a little bit but it's okay dark tales i keep saying dark tales okay what are all the dot the, uh, what are all the ducks names huey dewey and louie and then scrooge and scrooge who made these names and then the launch pad oh look at that it's just a few minutes we will be arriving at Disney's Hollywood Studios. But whether you plan to visit a galactic outpost or play with all of Andy's toys, at Disney's Hollywood Studios, everyone can become the stars of their favorite cinematic stories. But who made Huey, Louie, and Dewey? Who made these names? Well, they're old characters, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I know they Scrooge were. Scrooge is old too, they just redid them in DuckTales. Yeah. But who made these names? <laughs> this is all from. Walt Disney's imagination. Who we do, Manny Louie, really? Well, maybe not directly from Walt, but. I was about to say, that, that, that was a good one. That was a writer blog. Make sure to double check your Fast Pass Plus. That was a writer blog. Who we do, Manny Louie, experience mobile app. You can also view your star studded itinerary at a Fast Pass Plus kiosk when we arrive. This was perfect timing coming over here. Heck! A young worker? Oh, yeah. Ladies, gentlemen, and members of the Academy, welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. They're playing Jimmy. So you're dancing in the window. Yeah, I know. Please remain Look at that. Look at that fire. The doors automatically fire. open. What an incredible view. Fire! This is awesome. Thank you for flying with us. Here we go. That was awesome. Now you can see the rest of the fireworks as we walk down the exit ramp here. until 11 o'clock tonight for those of you staying on Disney property and have a park ticket. Very cool. All right, everybody, so there you have it. We made our way over from Epcot after Epcot Forever, which was a beautiful new show. The kites are amazing. What do you think of Epcot Forever? I like the kites. You like the kites? Yeah, the kites are pretty the awesome. The music was a little... No. Uh, see, I love the music. It's yeah. all the old, great music uh, all through the Epcot years, so... I love it, just not loud. But that was, uh, that was so much fun, and then we jumped on the Disney Skyliner. It took about 17 minutes to get through the line. There's a ton of people coming out of there, so it was a great test for the Skyliner. But like 17 minutes in line, and then, of course, just your, your 15 minute trip over the Caribbean beach, and then just a couple minutes here to Hollywood Studios. And then we saw the amazing fireworks as we were coming in as well. So it's just a beautiful, perfect night. 
wonderful ride on the Skyliner and just awesome. And I got to spend it with my beautiful daughter, of course. So visit PassportToTheParks.com and please subscribe here if you haven't and hit that bell icon. And until the next time, there's my rabbit ears. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye. Woohoo!